Is God lovable? Not the God we are introduced to in most religions. No, he's not lovable. Aside from the fact that there's too much suffering in the world, which we blame on him, and therefore not lovable, there, there, there's an even bigger problem than that. God is unknowable, unreachable, and untouchable, invulnerable, and indifferent. You can't love such a being. Love applies only to someone who can love you back. If God is so removed that he can't love you, you're too unimportant, you're not significant enough for him to love you, then you cannot love him. You can't. So is God lovable? God is very lovable. Because before you love him, he already loves you, and all you have to do is reflect it back. Reciprocal love. God is not only lovable, God is vulnerable. He created the world and made himself dependent on us because the world cannot become what he wants it to become and what he needs it to become without our willing participation. So all of creation, God's entire plan, the vast eternal plan, is vulnerable because what if we choose not to do it? God is vulnerable and therefore lovable because this is really crucial. There is no love without vulnerability. If you love somebody, but it doesn't really matter to you whether they love you back, you don't love them. There is no love without vulnerability. So God claims to love us. He's got to be vulnerable. And if he does love us, then it's almost instinctive that we reflect the love back. Somebody loves you, you love back. It's very real, it's very natural. So the reason God is lovable is because he is vulnerable. So his love for you is real. And that causes you to love him back. Mm -hmm.